Right, here's one for everybody who wants to be able to set the restrictions on the iPad. This is really useful if you've got lots of apps that could take you out onto the internet. So, let's have a look. First of all, go to Settings. Then what you want to do is find General, and there's General. Then go down to Restrictions. Now, uh, I've previously used this, so I had to set up a four number passcode. There it is. And now we're into restrictions. Now, what actually happens is it's asking you if you want to allow, let's say for example, Safari. Now, I don't want to uh, let the person who's gonna use the iPod go on Safari, so I'll just knock that off. Do we want the person to be able to use the camera? Now in schools, this can be a big problem because somebody who brings an iPad into school can take lots of photographs and then go home and post them on YouTube and things like that. So it may be an idea to turn that off. Now it's telling me that by turning off the camera, we're going to turn off FaceTime, and that's probably a good idea as well. So I'll OK that, and that will automatically switch off. If you don't want somebody to get music and things like that, don't let them on iTunes. Don't let them go to the bookstore. In fact, you could switch loads of these off. Do you want somebody to install apps? No! Do we want somebody to be able to delete apps? No! Do we want somebody to be able to use Siri? No. And then you can look at your music, your podcasts, things like that. Ratings are for the United Kingdom, so that's good for us. And here, we could just put that. So now it's not going to allow anything that has an explicit label on it. And you can do this for films and everything. So you can just put don't allow films at all. Look there. See? Don't allow films. You can do all of that stuff. So you really want to have a look at this thing and just see what you actually want people to do. You can turn all the restrictions off at once if you want to, uh, so you can put your uh, iPad back to normal should you like. So, go back to general there, and then we'll get rid of the settings. So, that's an alternative to locking the whole of the screen down with guided access.